You keep trying and trying to lose weight, but it's not working. What's up, FitFam? Coach RJ from www.fitclub.fit, the home of the belly burn. Now, this is a scenario that I consistently see, and we specialize in helping people to lose weight and drop fat. It's obviously not our only thing, but it's the thing that we do really well. And when it comes to losing weight, we got to understand that you just can't outwork your poor diet because it takes 3,500 calories to drop one pound of fat, which really is only a 500 caloric deficit per day, which sounds super easy in theory, but here's a couple scenarios. So the first thing I would ask, are you in a gaining or a losing weight phase? Because if you're in a gaining phase, and it's easy to get in a gaining phase, we've all been there. Christmas, summer, the two easiest ways to be in a gaining cycle. You can be working out every single day, but if you're having a blended margarita every single night and then you're stacking up parties on the weekends with like going to outings and like nobody really brings anything low calories and we're sitting around this table, we're talking, engaging conversation, living our best life by a campfire, but all of a sudden the s'mores come out. And when do we eat s'mores on a regular diet? We don't. And so what ends up happening, all these calories, they all add up, which turns us into a gaining phase. Now there's ways that you can maximize this gaining phase and by converting it into muscle, but that's for another video, or you can join the next belly burn, okay? But if you're in a gaining phase, then we have to spend time to stabilize yourself. Because to think that we're going from a gaining phase to a losing phase is like driving 100 kilometers down the freeway and then saying, you know what? I forgot my phone at home. I'm gonna stop and turn around with traffic coming at you. Doesn't work that way. You gotta slowly get down to zero. You gotta signal. Then you gotta slowly merge into the next lane. Then you gotta turn around. And then you gotta slowly get yourself back up to 100 kilometers. That's the only time that you're gonna start losing weight. But to go from gaining to losing is a very broad spectrum and it's gonna take time. Now here's the thing that I see is that most people, and even in the belly birds, is that most people tend to not eat, right? Like people I talk to are like, I barely ate, right? Well, first of all, when most people say that, I wanna see the Starbucks drink that they had because these drinks, these coffees that everybody's having and they can't just have coffee. Everybody's addicted to coffee, but nobody just eats drinks black coffee. There's always some type of cream or some type of flavoring in there that all have massive amounts of calories, but that's for a different video. Or get into the belly burn, www.fitclub.fit. So most people don't eat Monday through Friday, but then when Saturday hits and they don't have work, they're not super busy, there's no kid things, they're sitting around at their lake or they're sitting around at home and they got all day to eat, it's on like Donkey Kong. Why? Because your appetite is suppressed by being busy and then on Saturday you're like, oh my crap, I'm in such a caloric deficit that yes, you're gonna release hunger hormones. And so you're gonna feel hungry on Saturday and you feel like, hey, I've had so much success during the week and I barely ate, but we don't know that like the pizza, the pasta, the wine, the Starbucks drink that you have every single day, those things all add up and it's way easier to add calories in than it is to burn it out. And here's another scenario. <laughs> this is me personally reflecting, is that I can do a Fit Club 30 minute high intensity workout. I can coach for an hour and a half and burn a ton of calories. I can even go and play tennis for an hour and a half and I'll burn a ton of massive active calories, okay? Not just regular calories, but massive amounts of active calories. But then after I'm done playing tennis, I drive home. And when I drive home, I put like, you know, healthy snacks, edamame with some nuts, some dried fruit. I have protein bars, I have protein. Like I literally eat like all the bag of edamame I'll drink my double scoop of protein. I'll have my two Nary bars. Then I'll have a protein bar that I have as a stash. Like I'll eat like 2000 calories in just a 30 minute commute from my tennis club to home. And so a lot of us do these when we get hungry and we do this mostly on the weekends and we're doing it to celebrate or kick back or relax or whatever it is, but we don't realize that all these things add up. So yes, we absolutely crush it at the gym, but no, we can't absolutely crush it with the calories because we gotta remember, it's all about that calories in and calories out. So we have to understand that we are what we consistently do. So instead of trying to outwork your poor diet, work out because you love it. Not just because you have to balance out your poor diet. 
you need to monitor and control your food. If you don't want to weigh and track your foods, then my suggestion to you is to go with the 80% rule. Go until you feel 80% full, okay? We need to find the calories that work for you so you don't ever really starve, which will make you stuff, but we're able to drop a low amount of weight, right? Like 0.25 pounds a week, pound a month, that's super reasonable. And in a year, you could be down 10 to 12 pounds of fat. And then all it is, is just that small little bit of change. So what do you need to do? You need to give it time, do it right, and most importantly, enjoy the process. And if you're looking to enjoy the process, jump into the next Belly Burn, visit us at www.fitclub.fit, mention the Belly Burn, and we'll get you started today.